Hi there, I'm Annie Cassina helping you to captivate and keep your Mr. Right. In this video we're going to look at why a man won't commit. Picture this scenario, you start seeing a man, it's all great. You start to become a couple and the more attached you become to him, the less enthusiastic he is. He may be harder to pin down as to when he can see you. He's letting you do a lot more of the work in the relationship and with at least one eye on your dreams of a future together, you start asking, why won't he commit? You want reasons, you want to understand. You want to get a handle on what's going on in his head and what you can do to change it. After all, this relationship had a lot of promise. You thought he could be the one and now it just doesn't make sense. It's painful, isn't it, when people don't behave the way you want them to. When they change and you don't understand why. When they don't tell you why. How much easier would it be if you could see inside their head, if you could understand what was going on in their brain? Although the real question at the back of your mind is likely to be, how come he isn't thinking like I'm thinking? Why isn't he feeling the way I'm feeling? Why doesn't he see how much I've invested in the relationship and how good we could be together? The simple fact is, for whatever reason, he isn't on the same page as you as far as the relationship is concerned. You can spin yourself whatever story you like to explain it. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? You can try to persuade him to see the light. Chances are he's not going to take too kindly to that. Most people, including him, like to make up their own minds. How often do you come across a man who says, could you help me to come to my own opinions, please? Could you just guide my thinking for me? It's just possible you've been pushing your own feelings and viewpoint a little too hard for his tastes and that's why he's pulled back in the first place. Or maybe, and this one a lot of women find hard to accept, maybe he's just not that into you. He's decided, rightly or wrongly, that you don't have a long-term future worth committing to. He could be making the right decision for both of you for the right reasons. Or he could be making the wrong decision for both of you. Or he could be making the wrong decision for either the right or the wrong reasons. It doesn't really matter. He has a right to make his own decisions. You have a right to make a decision too. You have a duty to remind yourself that you're worth much more than a semi-detached suitor and trying to make anyone love you is bound to be a hopeless task. If he's not that into you, he isn't worthy of you. Don't focus on one measly sprat and forget there's a whole sea out there. When you pick up the reins of your own life, you'll start to feel better. The pressure will be off him and off you because you'll have let go of the uphill struggle of trying to make him love you. Instead, you create a win-win situation for yourself because you're free and you've learned whatever lessons there are to learn from Mr. Unwilling to Commit. You'll do better next time. You really will. That's one mistake you won't make again. And because you've backed off, he's now free to see you in a clearer perspective. If absence makes his heart grow fonder, then he'll mosey on back to you. And he'll have to do the work. And you'll get to choose whether or not you really want him after all. If absence doesn't make him fonder, isn't it great that you didn't waste any more time trying to reel in one sprat? I'm Annie Cassina, helping you to captivate and keep your Mr. Right. If you like this video, do like it and leave a comment in the box below.